today's video, guys. We are currently at Ebisu Circuit here at Nishi Course. It's a little bit of a sun shower happening right now. It's kind of a little bit crazy, but I got some cool stuff to show you that's happened on the Chaser. We have a brand new Origin carbon fiber hood. No more smiley face, but check these out. These are the smoothest hood clip things, pins, whatever you want to call them, that I've ever had. And because the thing is so light now, it goes up so beautifully. It's like even if you have old busted gas struts because you have a carbon uh, hood, it's so light it just lifts it up and holds it up no matter what. So that's kind of the win there. But I love this thing. It's so awesome. It's way higher than the OEM hood. Gives you a lot more airflow like out through here and through this vent system here. So it really helps keeping things cool in the engine bay. Definitely with the way this thing's set up, we got a lot of hot air that comes through there. But a few things that we're going to be doing differently today is... I'm going to set this up on the helmet, give you guys a helmet GoPro view because you guys have been asking. This guy's out here testing his new car. You might go and watch him for a little bit. It'd be cool if we got to drive with him, but that's a fresh brand new build. I don't think he's going to be wanting the tandem at least until he's got it dialed. He's literally been going in and out all day. Let's see if he does a lap. This thing has some wild anti-lag. 2JZ of course. Yeah, really, really going super soft. Just figuring out all the settings, I guess. Super cool though. Pretty much every team now has like a 2JZ Yaris. It's kind of insane. I guess Toyota's done some kind of promo thing with them all. I'm jealous, hey Toyota, where's my GI Yaris? <laughs> and a 2JZ. <laughs> Sounds so good. I bet you it's hard to drive. Yeah, it looks really gripped up and that short wheelbase, if, especially if you came from a, like a long wheelbase car, that would be very difficult to get used to. Got the GoPro set up on the front of the helmet for you lads. And another thing I was working on today, Jason from Link USA was watching my comp video and he's like, bro, we got to fix your limiter. It sounds like poop. And I was like, all right. So I let him jump in today and we made some changes to the Limmy. Listen to this thing right now. <laughs> it sounds insane now. It's kind of like a little machine gun. It's like super cool limiter. Uh, so let's get out there and do some shredding. Got some 265s on the back, all aired up, ready to go. Let's hit it. So I really hope this uh, helmet gives you guys the angle that you were asking. I know a lot of you were asking for this kind of helmet camera. I hope it's uh, going to give you what you want. I can't actually see the screen too well. So I'm just going to kind of point where I think you guys can see and hope it works. But my only concern is because my head sits like obviously a lot higher is maybe you can't even see out the window properly. So hopefully that's not the case. I'll only do a couple laps with this camera though, and then I'll switch to one mounted behind me or something. Yeah, buddy.
ever since we made those changes and got this thing dialed in. So good. I feel like the limiter could still be a bit better though. Might need to work a little bit more on that. I don't know, maybe I'm actually hitting my map limiter at the high RPM range and not actually hitting the RPM limiter. We'll check later in the logs. But uh, feels really good nonetheless. adjustments just like how the ECU is handling when it reaches like the map limiter we're really struggling to control boost levels because we have the stock 1JZ actuator on this big boy turbo um, I have ordered one of those really cool GCG turbo smart ones so they will be arriving soon and that'll give us way more control because we're trying to run 1.4 bar but the stock one was only the spring in there is just too weak to handle that so because of that it's kind of a little bit how you're going and a little all over the place but Otherwise it looks good. Let's put this thing in. Can I just say that these things are amazing. They do not like, they're not difficult to close or anything. Perfect. Let's jump in and do some more shredding. I made some adjustments to the helmet cam now. Let's see if you guys get like that really nice POV feel. It was a cool 
cool uh, AE111 one, one, one there. Super clean. That's rip boys. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Man, I've really come to love the chaser like a whole nother car. Culprit silicon coupler. Oh, I think I found it. Yeah, I found it. There's a hole here, a split right there in that coupler. It might be hard to see. Hang on, let's see if we can zoom in. See that? So it does look like that this is the culprit, this particular coupler. I went over and checked the rest of them. They all look good and healthy. None of the ones are the bumpers, like up the front here have been rubbing on the bumper, so I think we're good there. And then this one here looks fine. Uh, the only other one I was thinking that could be a problem is this one down here. We may check that, because I know that sometimes when the engine talks and moves, but I have serial nine engine mounts, so I don't think that's the problem. That can sometimes touch the accessories belt and actually, uh, go bye-bye but that's only if your engine mounts are bad so we'll just get down to the shop and check it there's definitely some damage on that one so Fusto's going to bring me some silicon couplers so let's head down there and inspect and work out what's going on this here is the dream that's what i want twin car loader so good just finished spending a bunch of time going over everything on the chaser and looks like it was just a combination of that coupler and maybe a couple other ones were quite loose. Um, I found a few that just really weren't that tight, so maybe a bit of boost was leaking out of there as well. But um, I would be boost leak testing this with a boost leak tester, but unfortunately the boost leak tester is with Fusto and he's got Formula Drift this weekend, so Fusto can't really actually drive it uh, Drift Mitsuri because he's got to drive it formula drift so that kind of sucks but um we'll boost leak check this another time when uh he's back and we've got the kit but for now though the car seems to be fine since i uh replaced that coupler and tightened everything down but just definitely want to go over everything and make sure we're all good in the neighborhood with everything so last thing i want is another issue or anything like that when we're driving and got tandem trains behind me and stuff it's a big important thing when you're uh, a drift mitsuri is that you have a reliable car because the last thing you want is Something to happen when you're leading a train and then like three or four cars all come into you. So you definitely got to be careful. Um, I've got a brand new set of tires for the front too. Uh, these are still really, really good, 
but I'm thinking of putting a fresh set on once uh, Mitsuri starts, and we'll put these on the rear and see what 08Cs feel like on the rear of this thing. I think it's going to feel way different. It'll feel really gripped up and awesome. Anyways, I'm kind of done for today. A uh, few people were asking about rope damage, and you can see like these lines on the car here and on the roof. See all these lines? It's kind of hard to see from when May went through the rope fence. You can kind of see them there, but they're all across the roof from the rope, like going skipping across it. So crazy. And there was some damage on the mirror here too, but I can't really tell. But other than like a little nick in the front bumper and then the, the rope like rub marks here, this all kind of comes off though. Like if you rub it, it does kind of come off, but I don't know, probably need like a microfiber and need to sit there for a bit and scrub her up. Otherwise, that's it. Car feels so good now. Otherwise, the car did really, really well today. I'm glad we were able to dial in that limiter a bit as well. Car looks so much better now that we have a carbon roof too. I feel like it just kind of flows with the car so much nicer. Like this thing is so like more higher up and levitated. Like look at the difference between the fender and it here. I don't mind it because obviously like it's a missile and a drift car, but that's crazy just to like help air get in and out of it. I, I think like this is maybe meant to go with a different kind of origin kit, I'm not sure. Or just because I've crashed it so many times, uh, the fender sits lower here than it should. Probably that's more likely the issue. <laughs> but regardless, it still looks awesome. I love this thing. And uh, man, I cannot wait to do some more driving with this in the next, I, I, put your bets in the comment section right now. Is this bumper still gonna be in one piece by the end of Maturi? Um, I have a feeling maybe not, but we'll find out. We'll see how long. Luckily, these bumpers are kind of cheap, so hopefully we can make it last. Just quickly, I had a really cool idea as well. Um, these Ebisu Drift Course Passes, a fair few of you have been emailing me asking me to send them to you, and I had a really cool thought. What I'm going to do is save as many as I can when I'm making videos here at Ebisu. And for instance, in this video, I will sign this, laminate it, and ship it to a random person that buys a shirt in the next 24 hours of this video going live. So if you guys want one of these, that's how you can get them. I thought it was a really cool idea just to kind of give back to you guys that are supporting me. So if you guys buy a shirt on summit.net in the 24 hours, like from when this video goes live, I'll pick one of you and I'll ship this to you. Um, as well as like for the next few videos here at Ebisu Circuit, I'll do the same thing with every day's pass. So don't miss out guys. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, probably like five of these. So five of you guys, for the next few videos, if you guys grab a shirt from summit.net, you might be getting one of these laminated and signed. It's definitely fixed now. We're making boost from like 2500 RPM again. So, we're fine. What I wanted to do now is actually head to where the landslide happened and just kind of show you guys all the like repairs and stuff. I'm sure you saw it on the drone footage, but I just want to show you and talk a little about the progress and where everything's at, because um, I know a lot of people have also been asking about that. I am currently standing where it was completely buried under dirt. This is exactly right where the landslide went through and wiped out everything in its path. That's why the sheds end there and the buildings kind of end there as well. All of this was taken out. Everything here, including my chaser, all gone in this whole entire area here. And Nishi Long, obviously the back section of Nishi Long goes all the way up and around there and then you come through here as fast as you can down the hill into there. And uh, this is kind of where they're at right now. It's really, really crazy, like just to think about, especially like only just like a, uh, what was it, like three, four months ago now? It's hard to re remember, it feels like it was only yesterday, but. They've gotten so much done so quickly. You can still, they're still, you can see, sorry, that they're still working on a bunch of stuff, but there is some really exciting news about trying to turn this all into a cool bank section for uh, some new competition uh, circuits and stuff like that, because uh, D1 is no longer going to be using Minami course. So I think this year their last event is at Minami. And then after that, no more. But the track has completely been cleared now. You can see, and they've kept a lot of soil here, kind of built up, and that way they, you know, pretty much put soil everywhere that they can that they don't need to get rid of it and pay to get rid of it, save some money, but really, really cool. They're gonna be doing a whole bunch of reinforcement in the next month or so in this section, so it can never happen again. There's gonna be like a lot of like kind of wave things built into there and some 
concrete kind of pylons driven in and stuff like that. But the main goal is get all of that done and then plant a bunch of trees here. Now, as you can see, pretty much most of like, I guess the hard work has kind of been done. So it's really good to see just how quickly Ebisu's recovered. And obviously from the bottom of my heart, I definitely want to make sure I thank each and every one of you for being a part of this. I do have uh, some plans to do a video with Kuma Kubasan, the owner of Ebisu Circuit. Um, it's just every time I've been here, our schedules have clashed and he's either been at competitions and all this kind of stuff or, you, you know, there's a lot of D1 and FD events happening that he's involved in. So obviously Ebisu Circuit is like four hours away from my house. So whenever I'm able to get up here is not like super frequent. So we're just kind of like shuffling things around and hopefully for the next trip, we got something really special and we'll be able to uh, talk to him and uh, <sighs> see what his plans are with all of this and all that kind of stuff and just see what he thinks about how we were all able to raise so much money to give to Ebisu Circuit. I know in the grand scheme of things, like it was probably not even like the tip of the iceberg of the cost involved that it was to repair all of this, but still nonetheless, it's still something and you guys as a community gave back and it's super, super cool. Um, they're going to be setting up all the signs, I believe, like on the walls here when they get rebuilt. So it's gonna be really cool to see some of you guys with your names and stuff on there. It is still so surreal for me that I was literally right where the top of that starts doing donuts up there with Okachan standing in the middle and now that and that all fell down. Like that is just such a surreal feeling. I was literally here the day that it happened. So insane. Well, another awesome day at Ebisu Circuit. Lots of fun. Cannot wait to come back tomorrow and do it all over again. And then Matsuri on the weekend. It's gonna be good, boys.